Hey guys, I'm Rob, this is The Brick Farm. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and let's get started. So in this video, we're taking a look at set number 76181 and it is The Batman, Batmobile, The Penguin Chase. So this set contains 392 pieces, retails for $49.99 Aussie dollar dues, and it contains two minifigures, Batman and The Penguin. So now I'll go and assemble it and come back with you once it's all done. So here's the finished product and I do have to say it looks quite cool. But first things first, let's take a look at the minifigs. So taking a look at the minifigures, we get the penguin, which I really like, with the pinstripe suit and the purple accents to it. He also has some back printing and an alternate expression. He also comes packing heat in the form of a stud shooter and what looks like an Uzi. The Batman minifig also has some nice printing with the silver accents. He also comes with an alternate face, but he also comes with an entire separate head and hairpiece. So he can be Batman with his cow or Bruce Wayne in a Batman suit. Now moving on to the main player, and that is the Batmobile. And speaking of the Batmobile, I have to admit, I personally do like it. It looks cool, and the build was weird, but also good. There is a lot of details crammed into the engine, which I have to admit looks pretty sweet. I felt like half the bricks for this set were for the rear engine parts. Whilst doing some research, I found out that it is a Camaro front with elements of the Ford Mustang and the Dodge Charger. So basically, the most iconic muscle cars of America. At the front, we get two spring-loaded shooters, and they are operated by pushing down on these two elements. And I have to admit, these shooters go quite a fair distance, so that is quite cool and a nice little play feature for the kids. On the interior of the car, we get some details for the dash and the console in the form of stickers, which were a pain to apply as they are all very, very tiny. So we have enough room to fit two minifigs and overall it looks quite decent on the interior. But to me, the hero of this Batmobile is definitely the engine. It is crammed with so many parts to great effect, with plenty of air intakes and a really cool exhaust which spits out blue flames. And we also do get a few more bleed valves at the front of the car and at the sides, which also spit out blue flames. Overall, the build is very sturdy and you feel like you can be a little rough with it without parts falling off everywhere. So overall, I think this is a great set, especially for that price point, but is it going to be an iconic Batmobile like the 1989 or the Tumblr? Only time will tell. So as always, thank you guys for watching, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!